Good morning, viewers. Thank you for staying tuned. My name still remains Mr. Austin. In this chapter, we are supposed to look at the customers and the vendors center. In the last chapter, we actually worked on creating customer center, supplier centers, and the employee center under the customer, vendors, and employee chart. This chapter we are supposed to be looking at working on the, the posting additional transaction into those various centers but we'll be going back to chapter 9 on working with the chart of account if you can see this is our home page for saving life hospital and if we go to our menu bar Now you can see that this is the account for Saving Life Hospital and these are the various accounts which have their ledger number. But now we want to work on editing, modifying and making some changes to this particular account with their ledger account number indicated so we start with identifying the ledger account number now under quickbook it's important that you know that any of the accounts that have general ledger from 10,000 that's from one zero 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 dash ten thousand to nineteen nine nine nine. It means that is the assets. Then, if we have from twenty thousand to two nine 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 nine, that's twenty nine 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 nine. That indicates liabilities. Then, if we have from thirty thousand to 39999 that is capital and equity then when we have 40000 to 49999 that indicates income if we have 50000 to 59999 it indicates the cost of sales and direct expenses then if we have 60,000 to 69,999, that indicates expenses, that's the general and administrative expenses, all expenses included. So if you can see from this chart of account, we have bank, savings and redemption account. But you should notice now that this general ledger number does not indicate the number that's supposed to identify it as an asset. So what we'll do is we'll click on Saving Life on Salvation Account, right click, click on Edit. You notice now the account type, it is bank, but now we want to change it to one hundred and we also change the name to Salvation Bank. And we'll click on save. Now we'll go up to redemption, click on it, right click, edit, and we'll change it to one two hundred. I will change this to bank redemption bank save and close so now you can see that salvation bank redemption hub and bank have their general number general ledger number as ten thousand one hundred and ten thousand two hundred so but want to create another one we'll go to accounts 
new we we'll click on bank we we'll click continue now we we'll put another bank hope bank hope bank and we indicate as 10 300 Yes, yes, include the the date, the statement ending balance was two million. That was on the thirty first of December twenty twenty. Okay, two million. So now we can see that Hope Bank we have a account opening balance of two million, which we to increase the equity. So that's for the bank. But before we go ahead, I would like to explain what this account type means. Now, if we click on income, it shows the categories of money earned from normal business operations such as product sales, service sales, discount to customer. Expenses shows the categories money spent in the course of normal business operations such as advertisements, office supplies, insurance, legal fees, charity distribution, rent, and much more. Then if we come down, we have the fixed assets. Those are the track, the values of significant items that have a useful life of more than one year, such as land and building, machinery, vehicles, and others. Then we have the bank, and the bank is create a cash account, such as the petty cash, check, savings, and money bank, money market. Then we have the loan. This track the principal, your business owe for a loan or line of credit. Then we have the credit card, create one for each credit card your business uses. Then the equity, this track money invested into the business or money taken out of the business by the owners or the shareholders. Payroll and winning boss especially should not be included in this. It is only the money that has been invested or taken out by the business by the owner. Then we have other types of account. The account receivable, which we all know that is the money that the customer owes to the hospital, track money your, your customer owe you on or paid invoices. Most businesses required only the account receivable account that QuickBook automatically creates. Then the opposite of account receivable, we know is account payable, and that's the money that the hospital owes the suppliers and the vendors. Money tracks money you owe to vendors for purchases made on credit. Now we have the other assets, just like the prepaid expenses, employee cash advances, inventories, loan from your business. Then we have other assets, track the value of things that are neither fixed assets nor other current assets, just like goodwill, long-term note, receivable, security deposit. We have other other current liability, track money your business owe and expect to pay within one year. That's within the period of one year. These are the money that you owe and you're supposed to pay. Then we have the long-term liability. That is for a long period of time, that's more than one year, that the company owe and expected to pay, like mortgages, long-term loan, and notes payable. Cost of goods sold. This track the direct cost to produce the item that your business will sell such as cost of materials, cost of labor. You might invite some consultant to come and see your patients. This payment that you pay to the consultant, they fall under the cost of goods sold because they, they track the direct cost to produce that item that your business sells, such as cost of labor, shipping, freight, and delivery subcontractors. Then we have other income. There's other income that the company generates, like dividend income from interest and insurance reimbursement. Then we have other expenses that we also incur, like corporate corporation tax, penalties, and legal settlement. So this is all about 
the account type when you are actually making a particular transaction and you are you want to post a default either under income expenses fixed assets bank loan credit card equity or under order current act so that's all about the account type so let's go back so we have to adjusted that of the bank now we have three banks that saving life hospital is running salvation bank redemption bank and hope bank so the next we will look at is if you want to delete we have talked about if you want to edit any transaction which we just did for salvation all you just need to do is come to your account then click on edit and you make the adjustment if you want to create a new one which we did with hope bank you just create click come on come to account click on new and you also indicate the where exactly does the account fall into we know we open hope bank so we clicked on bank then if you want to delete you click on the particular transaction and you come to account and you see delete and you delete if you also want to make the account inactive you click on make account inactive so when you click on it the account become inactive likewise if you now want to make the account active you just come to just try regenerator and click on make active inactive so now you can see that generator now is inactive it's not in that now you want to show inactive transaction so this is inactive you can see now that is there so now i want to make it active make account active so it's back we have nice back active so those are that's all about edit all about to edit to create new to delete and to make account active so now yes now work on let's continue with adjusting and opening a new account so we have done about banks so now we want to look at the inventory now you can see that we have the inventory with a legend number of 12 100 so we're ready to see if it fall in place we click on edit okay inventory 1200 is okay it's under current under current asset so inventory is okay so we click it's okay so the next we we'll look at is do we have prepaid we don't have prepaid so what to we'll do we create a new one new cancel let's look at okay we don't have any of the number they so will click on new which will fall under other current assets continue prepaid prepaid expenses and to be 14 Remember, I said before, any number that falls between ten thousand to nineteen nine nine now falls under assets. So prepaid is fourteen thousand under current under current assets. It's okay, it's okay. The next one we will look at. I think we are okay with. We already have inventory. We have prepaid expenses, so they are okay with the asset. Now we we'll look at that of the fixed assets. Okay. We have furniture and equipment. We are changed that to furniture and fixings. Yes, edit furniture and fixtures. Features. Okay, the general ledger number is okay. Okay, but we notice that there is no depreciation for them. So what we do? We click on count new. Fix assets, continue, 15, zero, zero, 1, and that is under fixed assets, furniture and fittings, okay, so this is the cost, so this, this, this as the cost. Let's put just complete it furniture um, 
fixtures. The cost, save and close. Okay. And we also do for the depreciation. New. Fixed assets. Continue. Fifteen. Depreciation. Okay, it cannot. So we just yes just make this depreciation and uh, furniture and fittings depreciation save and close so we have the furniture and features the cost and the full depreciation so we'll do that for motor vehicle 2 new Fix assets continue fifteen five oh one motor vehicle put motor vehicle course save and close. So we go to the next one, and that's the precision. Continue. Motor vehicle. Depreciation. And that is fifteen five o two on the motor vehicle. So you can see that our chart is account is taking shape. We have medical equipment. Fix assets. Medical equipment sixteen one oh one. Medical equipment. Save and new sixteen one or two medical equipment. Depreciation. Okay, it cannot go through, so we we'll just we'll also delete and just put depreciation. Okay, save and close. So we are through with the depreciation and the cost for. The fixed asset, and you can see all of them fall in place furniture and features for cost, motor vehicle, and medical equipment. So that's all about adjusting, editing, and creating an account under the fixed asset. So, in the next chapter, we are going, we are going to look at that of the liability how to edit, create, and also make an adjustment 
on that current liability. Please stay tuned. Thank you very much.